He's just a hunk of hunk of beefy brawn. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the fans' toys. Honk! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have some lovely artwork of Honk in his alt mode, in his robot mode. He's all like, these pretzels are making me thirsty! On this side of the box, we have Honk. On the other side, we have Honk. On the bottom, Honk. On the top, Honk. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and you have a pretty lengthy bio. If you want to read it, you can read that on your own time, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with another image there of a Mr. Honk, and on the back you have that same bio in very, very small type. If you want to read it again, there you go, you can read it again. And you have his tech specs, if that interests you, hooray for cards. And moving right along here, we have Hunk, and this is Fans Toys Take on Brawn. And here he is in his vehicle mode. And let's get in close here so we can take a look out of the details. You can see the whole front section there done in silver. You have some trans clear and plastic there for the headlights, a little bit of yellow there, yellow there. You can see the windshields and windows done in a nice trans clearance. Blue plastic, got the side view mirrors there, they did paint the side of the mirror. You got the nice chromed out rims, uh, the tires are rubber, get a little bit of grain there. Got the spare tire up top, and the back, a little bit of yellow back there as well. As you can see the, uh, the rear windshield is just painted blue. Yeah, there's the top, there is the bottom, he rolls as rolling things should, and he rolls very smoothly. It's a nice smooth roll, it's like butter. It's like butter, I love it, but there you have that. And for comparison, here he is with the Bad Cube Brawn. With Fans Toys Warpath. With Masterpiece Bumblebee version 2. And with Masterpiece Optimus Prime. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, he uh, includes this little pistol here. Just done in silver. Pretty nicely done. And this can store in the vehicle mode. If we turn them around, you can see there's a little slot right there. A little tab on the side of the gun. And you just, uh, helps you, just gotta pull this out. And you just tab that in like so, and voila, there's your storage. Doesn't get in the way of the rolling, everything still rolls nice and smoothly. And he also comes with his drill, because you have to be able to recreate that one moment from that one scene in that one episode of the cartoon, because hey, why not? And this just plugs right into the front here, like so, and there you go. Now he has his drill. You see the drill? Nice and chromed out. There he is. There he is with his drill. Hooray. Hooray for drills. And if you want to store the drill, uh, you can. Um, you can just open this up and just kind of, you know, drop that in there. If it's, you know, just do that. There you go. Drop it down in there. Close that up. There you go. You can have everything stored if you want to store it. But yeah, that is basically it for the vehicle mode. I think the vehicle mode looks quite good in my opinion. Oh, one little detail also is the, uh, the spare tire up top. That spins too. Ha! Uh, anyway. But yeah, that's basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's... You can get a pretty good spin out of them. So let us remove the weapons first. You get out. And you also can get out. And... Now we can continue on. So, what we're going to do here first is we are going to come to the front here in these little side sections. You just want to push down like so, and push that down like that to free that up. Uh, you want to come back here, just take this, bring this out, and untab this panel here. There are two tabs that go in there, so just pull those out like so. See the little tabs there? Just pull all that out, and then you want to come to the front here. There are 
little clips that go on either side of the silver section. So you just want to pull all this out. So basically we're just going to be pulling out the sides here. And then you want to come back here and this section is tabbed in there. So you just kind of want to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Helps if you wiggle. You got to do a lot of wiggling. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And that will untab. And then wiggle, 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 and untap all that there. And all this will come out and get all that loosened up. And once you've done that, you can take all of this and all this will just come up on this armature here. So once you've done that, you can take these panels here, just flip them over, flip them over, and then you take all of this. This will just, whoops, nope. You don't want to do that, because that will pop this off. You just want to come around here. This will come up like so, and just collapse in like that. So you want that sitting like so. And once you've done that, you want to come to the hood section here, and this will just all untab like so. Just angle it down so you can bring this up, fold that up. You want to just kind of swing all this over. So this will then tuck right in there. And then you can fold all this over it like that and then turn it back around. And there you have what will be bronze backpack. And I love how all that just compresses up really nicely. I dig that, I dig that. So get that out of the way. You can see his arms hanging out there, but now we're going to work on his legs. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just grab these side sections here and just pull them apart like so. I'm going to come here and this will just untab and then that'll tab in right there and then flip this up, tab in that right there. And I got that side done. And then you're just going to untab this end here. It helps if you take uh, use the ankle tilt here and just swing that out so you can grab a hold of this and just slide that out. And just bring that up and you want to slide that down at an angle. So that will tab in right there and then tab that in. And there you go. And you take the two halves, bring them together and then just squeeze it together right up top there. And then you're gonna take this little post here that will swing around, plug in there to lock it all together. And there we go. So the second verse, guess what? Is just like the first. So again, just spread all that out like so. And just pop that up, dab it in there, dab it in there, and then just pop that up, swing it out to the side, you can grab hold, pull that out, bring that around, and again, just slide that down an angle like so, plug it in, plug it in, and bring the two halves together, squeeze that together on top, swing this around, plug it in, and there we have that going on right there. And now Braun is just in like the weirdest yoga pose ever, but hey, we're on our way. So at this point now, we're going to take his arms, just want to bring them up and then just kind of swing this out like so. And then, oh, actually, before we do this, we need to turn his head around. So rotate all this around so he's facing forward like so. And now we want to take this and bring these armatures up like so. The arms on the armatures, bring that up like that. And there we go. So now we can finish working on his legs. So you just want to bring this down. You want to bring up this little clip here, straighten out the leg, and then this will just clip in right there to hold the leg in place. You have a little panel right here. You just want to get your fingernails, a little notch for your fingernail. It's not easy to get, but ah, there you go. Just flip that up and then come over to this side and flip that up. And there you go. Second verse, just like the first. Just bring that down, flip up that little tab there. And if this tab is too tight, when you take this out of the box, just loosen that screw right there, fixes it right up. So just straighten it up. Flip that back in and flip up the little gray panel. Come over here, flip up that little gray panel. 
and there you go. And then you just want to take his hips. You want to rotate him at the hip right here, right? Actually, at the uh, actual hip joint right there. Rotate that around and rotate that around like so. There we go. We pretty much got his uh, legs all done. So now what we're going to do here is you want to flip out these little panels in here. These can be kind of a pain in the butt because they're really small and there's not a whole lot of room to get into, but just gonna get a fingernail in there. Flip that out. It's actually the easiest time I've had doing that. <laughs> go figure. So get that. Get, there we go. Get that flipped out like so. So at this point now, you want to shift his hips forward. His hips are in the uh, back position here. So you just kind of want to grab them and I found this best to just kind of rock them. Just rock them forward and there you go. And I can see in that forward position now and then just kind of bring his legs down like this you want to take these little sections here just bring that up and then bring this whole panel down and that'll just plug in right there i know this is an angle of brawn you don't really want to look at but we have to look at it just a little bit longer <laughs> just bring that down dab that in like so and then we can straighten his legs out and then these little side panels are just going to tab in right there on either side, like so, and like so. And now that we've done that, we just come up here, and we just collapse up this backpack, like so. You can see the posts. I'll plug in right there. There's also a tab that'll go right up in here. So just get all that lined up. Just plug it in, plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. There we go, and we just bring his shoulders down like that, and I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo, we're done, and there you go. There you have Hunk, aka Braun, in his robot mode. And he's a nice looking G1E Braun. I really think Fans Toys did a great job on this figure. I think he looks quite, quite good. In my opinion, so let's get in closer so we can take a look now at his belly, at that noggin. As the noggin, you see a very nice brawny head sculpt. It's that big old dome done in silver. Nice bright blue there for the eyes. Very nicely done head sculpt, in my opinion. Got his chest. His chest is all die cast, and the, uh, the crotchial region, I believe, is all die cast. So, you know, obviously, as always, fan stories figures have that bit of heft to them because I like to put some die cast in there, boys. But, yeah, overall, nice design there. Looking nice and toony. His big old feet. And moving up the back, he just has the typical brawn backpack. That's what he's supposed to have, so it's accurate. But all in all, looks quite good in my opinion. Now, articulation-wise, uh, his head is, I believe, on a ball joint. But a mind is pretty stiff, but you can kind of get him. Looking up, you can look down a little bit. Head can rotate. You can get about that far before the back piece kind of gets in the way. Like I said, I'll mind this is stiff, so it's kind of hard to get his head moved around. Now, if you really need to, you can always just kind of turn this whole assembly around, I guess. I don't know. Oh no, actually doesn't turn when you have actually it doesn't turn when you have the backpack plugged in because that that post right there gets in the way. So you can only turn that up so much. But the arms can rotate. There we go. They can rotate, do a full 360, can move in and out. If you want to use that joint too, you can use that joint too, but really you're just supposed to use that joint. You have bicep rotation, you have slightly over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You have wrist rotation, the hands. And open and close. We do have waist rotation. Our legs can move forward that far, back, about that far, outward. You can almost do the full splits. Now, if you untab this little side skirt piece, then you can swing that up and you can get a lot more movement there. So, totally up to you how you want to work that. So you have options there. You can always just leave that panel just flipped in. But hey, up to you what you want to do. You have thigh rotation. You have slightly over 90 degrees of bend there at the knee and the feet. Uh, they cannot move up, cannot move down, but you do have 
a little bit there of ankle tiltage. And of course you can give him his gun and fan stories have finally adopted my absolute favorite method of weapon holding. It's not the typical tab in the slot of the palm method. They are now using the rail system here and you can see there's just a little slot right there in his palm and you can see the back here, it's just like a little T-tab. So you can just drop this right down into his hand and voila. And I love this because even if his hand is wide open, you can just put that in there and look, he's not dropping it. He's not dropping it at all. Like you can, you can smack it. You can try to smack it out of his hand and there's no, that's not coming out. And I love that. I love that. It's just such a secure way to have these figures hold their weapons. And I want every company to adopt this method, even Takara with their masterpieces, because it just works. It's dead solid. It's wonderful. I love it. But anyway, you can do that. And you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all that good stuff there. And the last accessory that is included is an optional face sculpt. And uh, to swap the faces out, you just have to kind of tilt his head up. Just kind of get under here and just pop his face off. There we go. Pop his face off. Ah! And then we just plug in new face like so. And now he is angry brawn and he can be all like, These pretzels are making me thirsty! So there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with the Bat Cube Brawn. So you can see how that works out. Here he is with Fans Toys Warpath. Kabloosh. Here he is with Masterpiece Bumblebee version 2. And here he is with Masterpiece Optimus Prime. So, there you go. So there you have Hunk. And yeah, he's a nicely done figure in my opinion. Um, he looks great in both modes. Um, the transformation is pretty smooth. Uh, going into vehicle mode, he has a little bit of fiddle factor. Not too bad, but a little bit of fiddle factor going into the alt mode. But overall, the transformation does work well. There are some nice little tricks there with the engineering. Um, love how the backpack just compresses up really nicely. Um, the one thing that confuses me is the, the gold. You can see that gold there they used for the armature that his shoulders are on. That doesn't make sense. Why was that decision made? I don't know, but hey, not a deal breaker, just something that just kind of is just weird on this figure. But overall, like I said, he looks great, um, works well, and uh, overall just a really nicely done figure in my opinion. And I think they knocked him out of the park, so. There you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Fans Toys figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Fans Toys Hunk. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud. Home in your face. Nothing on this screen makes any actual sense. It's just gibberish. Braun, I need to speak with you. Uh, yeah, Prime, what is it? I've received uh, quite a few complaints from our fellow Autobots. Uh, what about? Well, it's concerning you. Um, they're saying you have some uh, anger issues. Anger issues? Who said that? Tell me who said that. I'll kill him. Whoa, easy, Braun. It's just that I'll find him myself. Braun, Braun! I don't know what's happening, but I'm scared! Yeah, he needs help. Braun, too.